Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to actually link our SS database table to our Excel worksheet. So first you want to go ahead and create the table on Microsoft Access. I already got one uh, pre-built up. It has some fake users in there, a total of four records. I'm going to go ahead and close the Access database. Before you can actually link the data uh, to the Excel file, you actually have to have Access database closed. But there are properties where you can actually change it where you can actually have Access Database open and Excel open at the same time and still modify data in the Access Database. So let me go ahead and close this out. So let's create a new Excel file. We do a blank workbook. And I have my database on my desktop. So first what you want to do is click on the cell where you want the table to start at. We're going to choose cell A1. Click on the data tab. Choose uh, from access. I'm going to go to my desktop. The name of my database is test data. So I'm going to click on that. Click open. And we're going to be importing the tables so that leave that marked off. There's also properties right here that you can set properties before you actually import the data. You can have it uh, refresh all connections when you click uh, refresh all on a data tab. I usually leave that checked off. You also can have it refresh data when opening the Excel file. Sometimes I have this checked off and sometimes I don't. It just really depends if you need a new data every time you open up the workbook. But for now, I'm going to leave it checked off. Scroll down here. Right here, where it has share denied, right? Uh, this is very important. Uh, you want to change that from share denied none. And what this does is allow you to actually have Access Database open and Excel open at the same time. So you can be modifying data in the Access Database if you want to. And then also have Excel open and refreshing data inside Excel without any conflicts. Now if I had Access Database open, when I chose to import the data, you actually have like a dialog where you can actually just select it from a combo box to select none. Now I'll show you that as well. So you can see I have my table imported now. You can actually modify stuff on here. Delete rows. But once you do a refresh, it's going to pull that data from the Access Database back into Excel, so it doesn't matter. Everything's back to the same. Now, if you actually modify anything on the Excel workbook and you go to Access, nothing's going to be changing the actual Access Database table. So let's go back to the Access Database. You see everything's here. Let's add a new user. Write that. You can go to Excel, actually hit refresh all. You can see the new user be added right back into there. Or I could just do refresh. And a lot of things that you want to make sure, like if you're going to be sending this uh, workbook out to anybody, like someone in your company or any friends, what you usually want to do is actually delete this connection, especially if you have the connection refreshing on open. That way, when I use to open it up, they don't get an error where it's trying to connect to your assets a database wherever you saved it at. All right. Now I'm going to show you uh, trying to import the data when you already have Access Database open. So let's do another workbook. We 
we do cell D1. Got a data tab from access. Go to my desktop. Test data. As you can see, this is a different prompt since I already have access database open. It's the access database file is locked. But remember when I had to change that uh, uh, share uh, change that access permission from share right deny right. You can actually just uncheck it here and choose none. And then you can go ahead and hit OK. And there we go. Oh, well, sometimes I guess, like, sometimes when I have access database open and I do it, it I ought to get an error, but this time I didn't for some reason. So sometimes it happens, sometimes it don't. So just to be on the safe side, I would just initially have the access database closed. You notice that it wasn't giving me a prompt to, uh, to choose which... Uh, which table that I want to import, that's because there's only one table in the Access Database. So let's create a, a new table. We just call it names. First. I don't really care about the table design at the moment. Just doing this for example purposes. Put one record in there. Sam 44. I'm going to leave this assets database open and try to import this data. So you can choose a random cell. From assets, go to the desktop, same database. Same thing, you want to remove the, the share deny right to share deny none. It gives you more flexibility. You see, since there's more than one table in there now, you can actually choose what type of table that you want to import the data from. And this is the new table, so I'm going to use that one. I'm going to change this to drone. I'm going to delete some rows. If you go to connections, you can actually modify your connections properties. And another thing that you may want to do, if you have multiple connections in uh, one workbook, you want to actually give them a sensible name. Usually I just use the, the table name that I'm actually importing. So let's go to properties. That way you don't get too confused. We'll do the same thing for this test data. And whenever you do any uh, modification in the properties, there's an automatic refresh on there. So the table will automatic update. So let's delete these rows again. Modify this mouse. Go ahead and save this workbook.
So let's remove the connection from names. So next time we do a refresh, it's not going to reflect what the, what's in the database. And for this one, we're going to refresh it when we open up the database. So we should get the new data once we open it up. So there's the current data. Let's save this, close it out. You see the name is Sam, but we had changed it to mouse in the Excel file, so that shouldn't change when we open up the Excel file. It should still be mouse. And let's go ahead and delete some records in here. All right, we open up the Excel file. And you probably get this, uh, one problem when you initially open up the file is that stern data connections have been disabled. You want to make sure you enable it so it reads it from the database as soon as you open it. But usually you have to only do that once if the if you keep the file in the same location. You can see it reflects that table now in the SS database and this did not update. That's just a brief example of how you can actually link access database tables into Excel. I find this is very useful to just export a table from the access database and then import it into Excel. It could be a lot more quicker. You can already have like a template set up with multiple sheets and multiple tables from access. And then you can just do a quick refresh and then remove the connections and then send it out to wherever you need to send it out to. Uh, just send me any messages if you have any questions or you think I should explain anything better on here or any other examples I can add on to this. There is an actual Visual Basic code that I've done that you can actually delete the, all the connections from the workbook just with a, one function. And I can actually do a tutorial on that as well if anybody wants that.